Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial in camera and lens repair and this time I will show you how you can adjust a lens to use with a with an adapter for mirrorless camera or uh, SLR, DSLR or something like that and uh, I will show you how it can be possible in some way to adjust the Super Takuma 1.4 and it's a 50 millimeter. This nice old lens uh, which uh, have a, a 42 millimeter <coughs> is uh, actually very useful with the mirrorless camera but also in some way with the DSLR but it works better with the um, with the mirrorless because it can be adjusted to something like infinity or so. So let's see if I, for example, will use it for my um, Olympus uh, with an adapter like this. It's just a tube uh, with a uh, M42 and uh, then in that way it can be mounted to the camera in a very easy way just unscrew I mean <laughs> screw it in and here we go but if the infinity let's say it sits on infinity but infinity is not really what it should be how can we deal with that well um it may maybe will work uh, with with um, mirrorless camera but I tried to use one with an adapter and put it on my Nikon and well it did not really work because the distance from the lens flanks to the actual um, sensor in here which you can see it's far behind the uh, what it would be on a mirrorless camera you might see it's a very very um, you can see here the mark where the sensor is is quite short to the uh, lens flanks so that's why it is so much easier to put it on a a uh, mirrorless camera than it is on a um, DSLR. Well, there are many many different lenses with M42 that could be useful, but this mirror, I mean this <laughs> lens, is really good for making uh, taking photos or maybe if you have the possibility making videos but how to do it well we need some tools it's just a few uh, we need some rubber tool it could be this is a um, rubber gasket uh, for the plumber section in the uh, hardware store it is 45.4 millimeter from the edge here so it can fit pretty good here on the name nameplate you could also use the the fantastic uh, rubber cone which I like also uh, it's the number four here and it fits quite good here it also a possibility or you could have the the gray set uh, which is a set of nine different and there is also one that can fit on the plate here but I prefer those uh, rubber gasket for the plumber because it's really really sticky and it works really good we also need some um, some tools dentist tools which I like to make some scratch in here uh, just so we have a kind of a reference where I set the infinity and if I move I will loosen the 
the uh, focusing ring itself and possibly move it uh, so it can be so the lens uh, assembly will come closer into the camera now let's jump into it all we need to do is take off unscrew the nameplate that we'll do first and there will be more <laughs> arrows um, as long as we came into it so this is the nameplate nothing special it's made of metal aluminium and then we set a mark is uh, because uh, and set it to infinity you can see here the uh, the front ring or barrel will not move at all so it's good to set a mark that is in line with the index mark aha uh -huh. yes that's my reference so uh, it's good to have now we then need to unscrew three screws around here but there are some we do not unscrew it will say this one this one and this one do not unscrew those it's not necessary but in the other hand on the other hand we unscrew this screw this screw and this screw so we will do so and it's with a uh, 1.8 millimeter flathead screwdriver it does not have to be something special but I like the Vera uh, brand so just unscrew it fully so there and the last one here Oops. Oh, gosh. It's a bit tricky because uh, the screwdriver is not straight. It's kind of a you bend it like this to get to access the screws. Now, take out the front barrel and uh, then. So, this is it nothing special I mean I set the mark because uh, there can be some thing with the filters or so I don't know but it, it's just in case now set the lens to infinity it will say something like that that's my starting point at infinity so if the uh, if the infinity is not where it should be, um, it could be different in your camera with a different adapter. But uh, in my case, which could be the same in yours, um, I simply need to. Um, what do you say? <laughs> loosen some screws that hold the focusing ring and just to be safe enough it's not that <laughs> do not unscrew those screw if it's not the case this one and this one and also this one of course now on the other hand what we need to do here is only loosen three screws it will say this one which is close to the infinity in this case and this one and the last one here so before I unscrew it make 
a scratch somewhere here. It will say I have already done it but let's see. On the brass uh, part of the uh, middle helicoid make a scratch and also on the focusing ring itself and you have a, a mark here in line which we said before uh, so that you actually have a kind of a reference when you turn the focusing ring now we just begin to loosen those just a few turns let's say two turns or maybe one is okay and we take this the second one just loosen it now the focusing ring is not loose yet but when I loosen the last one here it's actually possible to move the focusing ring without moving the actual focus uh, helicoid. So now if the the infinity or whatever uh, distance you prefer is not in in focus you can um, turn it by it's loose at the moment but if you hold it down press down the focusing ring and keep hold it you could actually move it I mean move move the um, focus helicoid and then if it's uh, not correct well you can just move it and then put the uh, I mean turn the focusing ring itself back to starting point it cannot come any further than infinity here or at least something but um, if it's a case well if it's I mean when you turn the let's see if I do so now it's an infinity but I want a more infinity <laughs> over infinity <laughs> kind of um, then you need to actually move the the focusing ring itself just slightly and only the focusing ring then press down and move the uh, focus helicoid until it cannot come any further then move the uh, focus ring until infinity well it's not enough if you have a DSLR and you want to use it with the um, with the very very thin uh, adapter but it works with the uh, mirrorless camera and of course in some mirrorless camera maybe the sensor is a bit far away and then you need to or closer then you have to adjust it to um, even um, farther away from the sensor but I mean it's just small adjustment you need to do uh, to actually adjust it to whatever you want it uh, which distance so I can just put it back again and say okay that's fine then tighten the three screws gently there's no need for over tighten them and this last one then put on the the front barrel or front ring <clears throat> it can only sit in one position <clears throat> sorry and then put in the three screws again and since I have a mark here I know exactly where it should sit no problem with that so there it can be a little tricky 
So, gently tighten them. The screws here are quite small, but with a um, magnetized screwdriver it's quite easy to put them in again. So if you, when you set those mark in here on the focusing ring and the, uh, I mean the focus helicoid, you can always come back to where it was without any problem. So see in that way you will not damage anything, just make some adjustment, which is quite interesting in some cases. And then the nameplate on again and says click and we can just tighten the the name ring again and then my lens is back to normal again without any damage or something like that so that's all for me uh, hope you can use the info and uh, probably make your adjustment in your camera, I mean, <laughs> in your lens. So that's all for me. Bye-bye.